up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about what a network architect is for those of y'all who have no clue what the heck this thing is so with that being said let's get into it in today's hyper connected world where digital communication is the backbone of almost every industry the role of a network architect has become increasingly critical Network architects, they design, implement, and manage complex computer networks that ensure seamless communication and data exchange. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the responsibilities, skills, how much money they make, career path of a network architect, and providing a detailed understanding of this essential IT profession. A network architect, this is an IT professional who designs and manages the structure of computer networks. These networks can range from local area networks and wide area networks to intranets, extranets, and cloud-based systems. Network architects, they play a crucial role in ensuring that an organization's network infrastructure is robust, secure, and scalable to meet current and future needs. And network architects, they must have a deep understanding of networking technologies, protocols, and best practices. And they also work closely with other IT professionals, including network engineers, system administrators, and security experts to create and maintain efficient and secure networks. All right, so let's talk about how much money a network architect makes. So the average salary of a network architect, this varies depending upon factors such as experience, industry, location, and certifications. In the United States, the median annual salary for a network architect is approximately $120,000 to $150,000. Entry-level positions, they may start out at around $90,000, while experienced professionals and senior roles are in high-demand industries such as finance or technology. Technology, they can earn upwards of $180,000 or more. Additionally, obtaining certifications like Cisco Certified Design Expert, Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert, or the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, this can significantly boost one's earning potential. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some of the key responsibilities of a network architect. So the responsibilities of a network architect, this can vary depending upon the size and the nature of the organization. However, some common tasks and duties include the following, such as network design and planning. So network architects, they develop comprehensive network designs that meet the organization's requirements for performance, scalability, and security. They create detailed network diagrams and documentation to illustrate the network's architecture architecture, and they plan network infrastructure, including hardware, software, and connectivity requirements. They also find themselves doing some network implementation. So they oversee the installation and configuration of network hardware and software. They coordinate with vendors and suppliers to procure necessary equipment and services, and they ensure that network installations comply with industry standards and best practices. Not only that, they do some network management and maintenance. So they monitor network performance to identify and address issues promptly, they perform regular network maintenance tasks such as updates, patches, and backups, and they manage network security including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and VPNs. And some more stuff that they do, they troubleshoot and resolve problems. So they diagnose and resolve network issues and outages. They collaborate with network engineers and other IT staff to troubleshoot complex problems. And they implement solutions to prevent future network issues. They also find themselves doing security management. So they design and implement security measures to protect the network from threats. They conduct regular security audits and vulnerability assessments. And they stay up to date with the latest security threats and mitigation strategies. Also, they find themselves doing some scalability and future proofing. So they plan for network expansion and scalability to accommodate growth. They keep abreast of emerging technologies and trends to ensure the network remains current and efficient. And they evaluate and recommend new networking technologies and solutions. And then there's the collaboration and communication aspect. So they work closely with other departments to understand their networking needs. They communicate network plans and changes to stakeholders and ensure a alignment with the business objectives, and they provide training and support to IT staff and end users on network related topics. All right. Now, with that being said, let's look at some of the essential skills and qualifications of a network architect. So to succeed as a network architect, you need to have a blend of technical expertise, analytical thinking and strong communication skills. So here are some of the key skills and qualifications that are required. 
first one is you need to have some technical expertise. So you need to have in-depth knowledge of networking protocols and technologies such as TCP IP, DNS, DHCP, VPNs, and VLANs. You need to have proficiency in network design and architecture, including LANs, WANs, and cloud networking. And you need to have experience with network hardware such as routers, switches, firewalls, and load balancers. Another essential skill is analytical and problem solving. So you need to have the ability to analyze complex network issues and develop effective solutions. You need strong troubleshooting skills to diagnose and resolve network problems. And you need analytical thinking to design efficient and scalable network architectures. Then there's security knowledge. So you need an understanding of network security principles and best practices. You need experience with security technologies like firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems and encryption. And you need the ability to implement and manage network security measures. Some other skills that you need to have are skills like project management skills. So you need experience in managing network projects from planning to implementation. You need the ability to coordinate with vendors, suppliers, and internal teams. And you need strong organizational skills to handle multiple projects and deadlines. Then we have communication and collaboration. So you need excellent communication skills to explain technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders. You need to have the ability to work with other IT professionals and departments departments, and you need strong documentation skills to create clear and detailed network designs and documentation. And then that brings us to the certification and educational component. So you might need a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, or some other related field. You might need some professional certifications like the Cisco Certified Network Professional, the Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert, or the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification. And also, you just need to have some continuous learning so that you can stay updated with the latest networking technologies and trends. All right, so let's talk about the career path of a network architect. So the journey to becoming a network architect this typically involves several stages of career development, starting from entry level positions and progressing to more advanced roles. So here's an overview of a typical career path. So we have our entry level position. So you can start off as a network technician where you'll be responsible for basic network installation, maintenance and troubleshooting tasks. There's also help desk support. And this is where you can provide technical support to end users where you will be resolving network and connectivity issues. We have mid-level positions like a network administrator. And this is where you'll be managing the day-to-day -day operations of an organization's network, including configuration, monitoring, and troubleshooting. There's also network engineers where you'll be designing, implementing, and maintaining complex network systems, which ensure optimal performance and security. Some advanced positions include senior network engineer. And this is where you'll take on more complex and large-scale network projects that often involve advanced technologies and security measures. We have network managers this is where you'll be overseeing a team of network professionals, managing network projects and ensuring alignment with organizational goals. Then that leads us to the coveted network architect position where you'll be designing and managing the overall network architecture, where you'll be focusing on long term planning, scalability and security. And you'll also be collaborating with other IT leaders to develop strategic initiatives and technology roadmaps. And then we have further advancement. So you might find yourself in a chief technology officer position. And this is where you'll be providing strategic direction for all technology related initiatives within that organization. Or you might find yourself as an IT director where you'll be overseeing the entire IT department, including network architecture, system administrator and application development. All right, so let's talk about the importance of continuous learning. The field of networking is constantly evolving with new technologies, protocols, and security threats emerging regularly. For network architects, continuous learning and professional development are essential to stay ahead in the industry. And here are some ways network architects can keep their skills and knowledge up to date. So the first way is by attaining certifications. So obtaining and maintaining professional certifications, this demonstrates expertise and commitment to the the field. And once again, some popular certifications for network architects include CCMP, CCIE, and the CISSP. Then there is training and workshops. So you're going to want to attend training sessions, workshops, and conferences that provide opportunities to learn about the latest technologies and best practices. You have online courses and resources. So online platforms, they can offer a wealth of courses, tutorials, and resources on networking topics. They have professional associations. 
So you can join professional associations like the Association for Computing Machinery or the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, which provides access to networking events, publications, and a community of peers. And then you can do some good old fashioned reading and research so you can stay informed about industry trends, new technologies, and emerging threats through books, articles, and research papers, which will be crucial for your continuous learning. Moving on, let's talk about the challenges that are faced by network architects. So while the role of a network architect is rewarding, it also comes with its share of challenges. And some of the common challenges that are faced by network architects include the following. So we have rapid technological changes. So keeping up with the fast paced advancements in networking technologies, this can be demanding. And network architects, they must continuously learn and adapt to new tools and protocols. Then there are security threats. So as cyber threats become more sophisticated, ensuring the security of the network is a constant challenge and network architects they must stay vigilant and implement robust security measures then we have the complexity of network designs so designing and managing large-scale complex networks this requires careful planning and attention to detail so balancing performance scalability and security this can be challenging we also have budget constraints. So working within budget constraints while implementing state-of-the-art network solutions can also be difficult. The network architects, they must find cost-effective solutions without compromising quality. And then there is collaboration and communication. So coordinating with various stakeholders, including vendors, IT teams, and non-technical staff, this requires strong communication and collaboration skills. And miscommunication, this can lead to delays and misunderstandings. All right, next, let's talk about the future of network architecture. So the future of network architecture does look promising with several emerging technologies and trends that are shaping the field. The first is that of cloud networking. So the shift towards cloud computing continues to grow with more organizations adopting cloud-based services and network architects. They will need to design hybrid and multi-cloud architectures to ensure seamless connectivity and security. Then we have what is called software-defined networking. So SDNs, this allows for more flexible and programmable network management. Network architects, they will need to embrace SDN technologies to enhance network agility and automation. We have 5G and edge computing. So the rollout of 5G networks and the rise of edge computing, this will require network architects to design architectures that support low latency, high bandwidth applications and services. Then there's the Internet of Things. So the proliferation of IoT devices, this will increase the complexity of network architectures. So network architects, they will need to address challenges that are related to scalability, security and data management. Then we have artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI and ML, this can be leveraged to optimize network performance, enhance security and automate network management tasks. And network architects, they will need to integrate AI and ML solutions into their designs. And then we have cybersecurity. So as cybersecurity threats evolve, network architects will play a crucial role in implementing advanced security measures such as zero trust architectures and AI driven threat detection. All right, so let's talk about the timeline to become a network architect. So the time it takes to become a network architect, this varies based on education experience and certifications, but it typically ranges between seven to 12 years. So here's a quick breakdown. So here's the educational component, which could take you about four to six years. So most network architects, they do hold a bachelor's degree in fields like computer science, information technology, or a related discipline. And some do pursue advanced degrees, such as a master's degree in network engineering or business administration for specialized knowledge. Then you have work experience, and this could take you about three to six years. So entry-level roles like network technician, system administrator, or network engineer, this provides hands-on experience with network infrastructure and systems and progressing to a senior network engineer or similar position. This is often required before transitioning to a network architect role. And then we have the certification path, and this could take you about six months to two years. So certification such as Cisco certified network professional, Cisco certified design professional, or advanced credentials like Cisco certified internet work expert or AWS certified advanced networking. These are often prerequisites and may add additional time depending on study and exam preparation. But ultimately, the journey to becoming a network architect, this does require a combination of technical expertise, real world experience, and advanced certifications, making it a long but rewarding career path.
All right, so to wrap all of this wonderful information up, the role of a network architect is vital in today's interconnected world. These professionals are responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining complex network infrastructures that support seamless communication and data exchange. With a blend of technical expertise, analytical thinking, and strong communication skills, network architects ensure that networks are efficient, secure, and scalable. And as technology continues to evolve, the demand for skilled network architects will grow. Continuous learning and staying abreast of emerging trends and technologies will be essential for success in this dynamic field. So whether you're an aspiring network architect or an experienced professional, understanding the responsibilities, skills, and challenges of this role will help you navigate and excel in the ever-changing landscape of network architecture.